What's up, everyone? Big Dan here, and today we're going to be talking about Weird West, an upcoming action RPG slash immersive sim set to release in fall 2021. I stumbled upon this game recently while searching for upcoming RPG releases, and it really caught my eye. So what is Weird West, and is it a game you might be interested in? Weird West's setting is a genre mashup between classic American westerns and fantasy. So you have gunslingers, werewolves, and wizards all residing in this bizarre setting. The last western game I played was Red Dead Redemption 2, which was painstakingly realistic in its depiction of late 19th century Wild West aesthetics. So this is a pretty unique take on the genre. To dive a little bit deeper, here is the game description on Weird West's Steam page. Discover a dark fantasy reimagining of the Wild West, where lawmen and gunslingers share the frontier with fantastical creatures. Journey through the story of a group of atypical heroes, written into legend by the decisions you make in an unforgiving land. Each journey is unique and tailored to the actions taken, a series of high-stakes adventures where everything counts and the world reacts to the choices you make. Form a posse or venture forth alone into an otherworldly confines of the Weird West and make each legend your own. Reactivity and story choices are mentioned in the marketing speak of pretty much every RPG these days, so we'll have to wait and see how reactive the game really is in terms of choices and consequences. But at first glance, this sounds pretty cool. In terms of gameplay, this is a third-person action RPG with an isometric camera perspective. Think of games like Diablo or Grim Dawn. I watched a live stream gameplay demo from the creators of Weird West on Twitch, which showed off some pretty interesting features. One of the things that I found really fascinating was that pretty much every object in the environment is interactable and can be used to your advantage. You can create oil slicks or shoot chemical barrels to create traps and explosions, throw objects to distract or attract enemies to your location, even something as simple as a box of ammo can be used to set an explosive trap by shooting it or obviously as bullets for your own weapon. This style of gameplay kind of reminded me of Divinity Original Sin. Exploration is also a big element of Weird West. According to the devs, every building in the game is explorable, there are no fake buildings. I'm looking at you, cyberpunk. They really strive to create an immersive interactive environment for the player to explore, scavenge necessary items, and discover new things. I'm curious to see how these elements play out. So I could just climb on anything? No restrictions? Yeah, you can climb on anything that... Uh, it's based on metrics, so if the geometry is there for you to climb and it you know, it, it, it would work as, as long as it's climbable, like in, in the sense of like it, the height is right. Uh, we don't put any fake blocking volumes or anything like that. One thing I found really interesting was that there were no objective markers during the particular mission that was shown in the live demo. The player needed to locate their husband, who was captured by a group of cannibalistic priests, but they had to find their own way through the enemy camp, explore, find clues and keys to help them discover their objective. The combat is your typical third-person ARPG-style gameplay. There is gunslinging, using traps, and even a slow-mo bullet time-style attack. Okay, so I'll probably use the big dynamite here to try to get them both at the same time, maybe. Mm -hmm. All right. Now let's take the gun. Nice. Oh. Okay. The uh, so it's full of the markers. Yeah. If I kick it and shoot at it, it will create the traps. So here a guy here. Maybe I will attract him like this and get the ammo burning. Okay, he escapes. So oh, he ran now. away. He yeah. ran. You can also use stealth to perform takedowns and hide bodies from enemies. Sounds and distractions also play a big part in stealth gameplay, so you need to be careful not to be seen or heard by your opponents. One thing I've yet to see much of is what the melee combat looks like, or what other special powers might be exclusive to, say, the werewolf character. So what about the characters? Weird West doesn't feature a single protagonist. Instead, there are five separate hero journeys that you can explore throughout the course of the game. A bounty hunter, a werewolf, a protector, which seems kind of like a D&D style ranger, a seer or onerist, and a pigman. Yeah, this game seems pretty bizarre. <laughs> you can also recruit followers who will team up with you and help you out in combat. 
Who you can recruit is impacted by your reputation, which seems to be a pretty simplistic system. If you act like a dick, your reputation drops, and if you perform good deeds, your rep goes up. There are also a variety of factions that you will encounter in this story, but I don't know if there is a more faction-specific reputation system in the game. That's yet to be seen. Additionally, there is a skill tree that allows you to unlock new abilities and perks. You can discover items in the world that will grant you ability points, and I believe you can also earn points through regular XP progression, but that's still a little unclear to me. So here are the, I got a relic in the building and a relic lets you, uh, you know, buy some uh, cool abilities specific to characters, to weapons. So here I'm going to take uh, Thunder Hammer, which allow me to quickly empty my magazine uh, in combat like this. Oh, nice. It's difficult to tell how extensive this system is from the limited gameplay I've seen thus far. But from what I can tell, Abilities seem to be for individual characters, while perks are available to all of the different characters. So our way things to find, of course, and a golden ace here, which will allow me to buy some perks, and these will be permanent through all the journeys you will explore in the game, so you better have to choose wisely. And I have two luck pick, I will probably take the locksmith perk mm. to try to save them. I'm not ready to give a full-blown recommendation yet because I haven't actually had a chance to play the game and there are still a lot of unknowns at this point. Like, is it actually fun to play? How reactive is the story to the choices you make? What kind of builds can you experiment with? Is it actually a finished product or is it riddled with bugs? Which is a question that sadly needs to be asked of every game these days, given what we've seen with releases like Cyberpunk 2077, Fallout 76, and a bunch of other broken games. There's also no set release date yet, just a window of fall 2021. And I haven't seen what price the game will be selling for either. They aren't taking pre-orders yet from what I can see. The game will be multi-platform, so you can get it on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. I'm not sure if it'll launch on the newer generation consoles or not. In any case, I'll be keeping an eye on Weird West. Perhaps if I get a review code or otherwise get a chance to play it this fall, I'll make another video and let you know if this game is any good. Until then, we'll have to wait and see. If you want to check out the replay of the developer livestream, it's now been posted on YouTube, so I'll link that in the description. It's about 30 minutes long, but you can skim through it and get a general idea of what Weird West is all about. I'll also put a link to the trailer if you want something a bit shorter to check out. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more RPG videos. I mostly make content about Mass Effect and Dragon Age, but little by little I'm branching out into other games as well. I'm also on Instagram, so go follow me at Big Dan Gaming. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.